Oh yeah, it's spooky university time. And uh, the red light is, uh, <clears throat> well, it's all I've got. So that's what I'm doing. That's how I roll. I roll with the red light. So, psychic connections with family, eh? I know I'm a little bit late with my homework. Like, probably three weeks late. And uh, I don't remember. I think it's number 52. Spooky University topic number 52. Psychic connections with family. Um... <clears throat> I don't think, I've never really had psychic connections with family. Um, but what I do have are dreams that are kind of like deja vu. And a lot of them are really mundane things that, you know, something will happen like, uh, I don't know, I'll move to a new place and Hey, wait, I had this dream. I had this dream that I saw this room. <laughs> that kind of weird stuff. But I've also had dreams that I was afraid would actually happen. Like, um, I had a dream when I was younger. When I was a teenager, actually. Which is a very long time ago. And, uh, <clears throat> I was driving my dad's car. And all my friends were in the car with me. So we're driving along and like it's this like back country road and um, I, I was going too fast or it was raining or I don't know. I was probably driving too fast because I always do that. And uh, my, I had three buddies in the back and one in the front. So we come around the corner and we slide off the, off the embankment and we go sliding and sliding and sliding. And it's like we kept sliding forever. And I see this rock wall coming, and there's a pole sticking out of it. And we slide and slide, and we slide right into this rock wall, and the pole in the back goes through and kills all my buddies in the back. Like, the pole goes right through them. I don't know if it was through their heads or through their torsos or what, but they were all dead. And, um... And then I get out, and that was the end of the dream. I remember another one where I was looking at a really weird painting in my dream and I could hear people around me laughing and and kind of giggling and stuff and I remember being in an art gallery or later on like years later I was in an art gallery and I um I ended up seeing this painting for real in real life and um people were around me making weird noises so yeah, there's something to say about the something to be said about the mind, eh? It's a little creepy sometimes, and so am I. Anyway, on to the next topic, which I will get to when I have time. Thanks for listening. <laughs>